Chapter 9 From Mohandas to Mahatma My life is an indivisible whole, and all my activities run into one another, and they all have their rise in my insatiable love of humanity. When Gandhi returned to India, the land of his childhood, thousands of people were waiting to see him. They had heard about his nonviolent resistance in Satyagraha in South Africa. They wanted to help him in his mission. People began calling him Mahatma, which means great soul. Gandhi didn't like that name because he felt that he was an ordinary person. Nonviolence, he knew, is for everyone, not only for a few special people. Gandhi knew that in order to help India free herself from the British without violence, the people would need to find the power in themselves, just as he had. They needed work. He showed people how to spin cotton on the spinning wheel and on a hand spindle called a takli. It was a massive collective and creative resistance. Gandhi figured out that by reducing their dependency on the British, they could free themselves from British control. By spinning cotton, they could make their own cloth as they had done before the British came. When they were no longer dependent on British cloth, it would help them get free of British rule. They could make their own clothes and they could rule their own country. Even children joined Gandhi and helped to spin cotton and weave khadi, or homespun cotton cloth. It was needed work. It helped people concentrate and focus their attention on one thing at a time. It brought harmony to their mind, body, and spirit. It was something they could all work on together, so it strengthened their communities. Most importantly, it was nonviolent. It harmed no one. Nonviolence helps everyone. Whenever we use it, it helps us and the people opposing us. Even the British needed to learn that by exploiting India, they were hurting themselves. <laughs>